Today I'm going to share one of my favorite units to teach. It is my outdoor games unit. This unit is for grades 6 through 12, and the equipment you will need is a spike ball set, can jam set, a ladder ball set, two hula hoops, two cones, and eight bean bags. This is what my setup looks like. I have a little over 40 minutes of activity time with my lessons, so I have the groups rotate after 10 minutes to each station. The first station is called Cone Hall. It is similar to Cornhole, but a much more cost-effective option. Each player takes turns tossing four beanbags trying to score points. A beanbag in the hula hoop is worth one point, and a beanbag in the cone is worth three points. So in this scenario, the green team made one in the cone, and the red team made one in the hula hoop. Since the green team scored three and the red team scored one, you subtract three by one, and the green team is now winning 2-0 to zero after this first round. Now the other two team members will go and toss the beanbags trying to make them into the cone or the hula hoop. The first team to 21 points wins. The second station is spike ball. In this game there are partners that are working together in a volleyball like game to score points. The first person serves off the net and then the other team has three hits to hit it back onto the net. If the ball cannot be returned within three hits, hits the ground, or the rim, it is a point for the other team. In this scenario, the purple player serves the ball, and the blue player then hits it back right onto the net. Then the other purple player returns it back off the net, which then is played by the blue player, who hits it to his teammate, who then passes it back to his teammate, who returns it off the net and past the opponents. This means the blue team is winning one to nothing, and now it is the blue team's serve. Games are played to 21 or until the time limit. The next station is Can Jam. Teammates stand on opposite sides and work together to try to hit the can with a frisbee. If a student throws the frisbee and their teammate is able to deflect it off of the can, it is worth one point. If the frisbee hits the can directly without being deflected, that's two points. If the frisbee is deflected inside of the top of the can, that's worth three points. And in the rare occasion it goes through the slot, that team wins automatically. In this scenario, the blue team goes first and deflects off the can for one point. The blue team now goes again, and this time misses the second throw. Now the yellow team goes and throws the frisbee and they deflect it inside the top of the can for three points. Then the second yellow player goes and makes it into the slot and they automatically win the game. Games are played to 21 or until the time limit. The last station is ladder ball. In this game, teams alternate turns trying to make the rope land on one of the ladder rungs. The top rung is worth one point, the middle is worth two, and the bottom is worth three points. You tally all the points at the end of the round and play to 21. So in this scenario, the red team scores one point because they landed it on the top rung. The blue team, on the other hand, scored three points because they landed it on the bottom rung. You can adjust the rules and setup for each station to find what works for you in your classroom. I hope you like this video and please subscribe for future Phys Ed videos.